Hi, this is Daisy, and this is the first in five videos where I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you how I photograph, select, edit, and design layouts for a photo book. So here we are in one of my favorite places to shoot in my home. This is my bedroom. Um, and the first step here really is to clear the clutter. So I'm kind of getting rid of some of the bed sheets. I'm going to pull this up just to make kind of a, a nice background here with the wall, just in case that happens to creep into my photograph. Um, you can see my daughter's already playing and jumping on the bed, ready to get started. Um, the next step, it's important to remove anything that might appear in the frame. So that's what I just took care of there. So the next step here is to make sure that you have the right lens on your camera. I did have my 50 millimeter on my camera, so I'm switching it here to the 28. Um, this works better for me when I'm shooting indoors, and particularly here because it is kind of a tight space. Now I am um, opening up the blinds, and that is to get a little more light into the room. Now my daughter was adequately dressed, but my son was wearing, although a cute shirt, not what I wanted for the photograph, so I switched him into a solid color shirt, and he gave me a hug, which is very sweet. Okay, so the next step then is to really get your settings appropriate, and you will see here it takes me a little while to get my settings. She was having fun though, so that's okay. And then we play this game where we count one, two, three, and they have to be very still for the three seconds, and then they can jump around and move. So in this instance, I'm still kind of getting my settings just right, but you get the gist of the game. So now I'm trying to move them closer to the light, and I'm trying to get them to pay attention, to stop, to, to calm down, to look at the lens. It's not completely working. <laughs> my son's a little crazy. Um, so we just go with the flow, and here you can see I'm trying to tell them let's be still for three seconds, but then my son has an itchy nose, so we're just trying to work with it. And um, it's just how it is. My, my son, who's taller one, is closest to the window. I wish it was the other way around, but that just wasn't happening at the moment, so I'm just letting it go, and I'm trying to capture them and photograph them while I can. Um, as they're solitary in that moment. So first it was my, my son, and now I'm trying to get my daughter, and now they're both acting crazy. So now that they're not really paying attention to me, I have to bring out um, tip eight, which is to bring in the bribe. So here I'm telling them I have a sucker for them. They just have to do what I say. They have to sit still for the three seconds, and then they can act crazy, and they will get the sucker. And I'm just trying to work with whoever will work with me for the sucker. Oh, and we have to fix the hair too. <laughs> so the point is that you just keep trying. You know, this is just typically how it works for me. They're both kind of silly acting, but I think I in the end got at least a couple of photos that will work my book. And now they just go crazy, which is so cute. Um, so the last tip is to say thank you and make sure that you reward them with what you said you were going to for doing a good job. It'll make them want to do it again. So in this video, I gave you a behind the scenes of how I photograph my kids. Next month, the video will show you the photos that I took so you can see some of the results of all of my kids playing and acting crazy and um, what the results were. I'm going to go through the selection process, so how I delete, how I star, rank, keyword, etc. specifically for my photo book. If you like this video, I would love for you to sign up for my free emails. I send out emails twice a month and they always include what's going on in my life, what I'm photographing, how I'm putting them into photo books, any photo book design, tutorials, tips, things that I have going on in my shop. So I would love to have you on my email list and I can't wait to see you for the next video in this series where I select my photos. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.